down at the Freedom Factory in Florida. We got nitrous powered Crown Vix going around a kidney bean out here. We've got monster trucks, we've got fireworks, we've got the Van Prix. Don't know what it is, but there's a whole line of minivans out here. This is gonna be an awesome event. So Lamolids, you gotta have a partner, right? One person drives basically half the race. You do one of those Chinese fire drills, someone else jumps in the seat that tries to finish the thing up. My partner's gonna be Zach from Millennial Farmer. We did some snow machine stuff a couple years back. He's gonna be running this rig with me. We threw an X on it, 1776X. And this is a car we had in Bristol, I believe. And uh, my buddy Chad helped me paint this thing up. It is the nicest looking car out here, and I ain't kidding ya. We had some pretty terrible motor issues, but I'm told they got her back up and running. They got a new throttle body, some other stuff they did to it. These guys worked so hard on it. We'll be running laps there. And then they've got this Van Prix. We'll go look at those here in a minute. I don't know much about this. I'm sure it's gonna be some sort of race, uh, but that should be wild to watch. We've got a bunch of fireworks and stuff this time. And I see a few monster trucks out here. They're gonna be jumping those into the track and also crushing some cars. That's gonna be pretty cool. We did put this car away really clean last time. We do a pretty darn good job racing really fair, really clean. Never really been tangled up in the Crown Vix too terribly bad. I uh, did tap the pit wall actually, trying to avoid a wreck. But it didn't really do a ton of damage. In fact, the door still does the door things. So that works out pretty good. If you've never seen these, they fully caged them now. They upgraded the seats. Zach's about Sasquatch as well. So I think he's gonna fit in here just fine. We can just adjust the belts, hopefully. But yeah, same exact car. If I remember right, AC doesn't work. You can't get out from the inside but none of that matters because we've got nitrous right here. Here's all the other cars. This is the most stacked driver's list I have ever seen at any race that Cletus has put on, for sure. It is gonna be a lot of fun out there. Since the car is already painted up, I'm doing something a little bit different. I asked, you know, old Cletus there, if I could put it out here on this side of the fence, and I'm actually gonna let folks come up here and just sign it. They could write a little message, maybe wishing us luck or, or uh, thanking a veteran or someone they know, sign their name. We're going to put out a bunch of markers and we're calling it the people's car. I think it's going to be really cool. Probably going to be its last race. I don't think many cars survive the Lamolets, particularly when there's a kidney bean shape involved. Last time was nuts. Someone hit a water barrel, turned into like a slick muddy grass thing. It was so fun. And I think we were, were we running second or third? And then I buried it in the grass last time? Yeah. Uh, it's, yeah. I think I was going for the pass for first, I think. Zach won that one, if I remember right. But um, at the end of that race, the cars were just gone, really gone. Let's go check out these minivans. And then maybe we can go check out a monster truck. You guys have kind of seen those, but we got the crack in. The old school Excalibur is here, and I think there's one more. Now maybe we could find the ramps too. They're gonna be jumping in. And some of these fireworks, I've never seen the professional firework setups up close. I'm here, here with one of the uh, point contenders this year for the season. Are we still doing the season or is that over? Yeah, no, it's it's still going. Yeah, it's still, this is the last one. Last place, good old Jack's down here. Yeah. We're just admiring his clean chariot. Let me show you this thing. So you've ran three races in the same this car. Is, yeah. Looks it's, brand new. It's the unit. The Mako job at the beginning of the season really set the pace for keeping her yeah. nice. So did you actually paint it or did it come that way? Uh, it came right from Mako. Wow. Yeah. This thing is dialed. Got to be a fresh, fresh spray job on the chromies. Nice. Yeah, got to be a, a fresh wing on there. I noticed Wrap you. Tight. 
I might have to check the spec on this because she's a little vertical. She, she's in spec. She's still self tapered right to the trunk. Like it needs to be. <laughs> Man. This side has got a little bit of. Wear. Well, that but, just that just shows you're on the inside being competitive. That's yeah, all. But I went ahead and pulled my fender out for this reason. Bristol, I had some rubbing going on. I kind of throw in the turn as hard as I wanted to. Oh, I so see. I went ahead and body worked that back out. Got the old uh, baseball bat out? Yeah. Oh, actually, a five pound sledgehammer. Nice. Beat her back into shape. Look at the steering wheel. I didn't write that. I didn't write it. Forward circle the problem for us. <laughs> you know. Yeah. So, this is a crazy driver's list. Who are you looking out for today? All I got to know is, is there's some uh, drivers here. Oh, it's. it's there's this a is... lot of them. I seen some guys practicing yesterday, and I was. Shot. Wait a minute, there was practice yesterday? Yeah. Oh, I missed it. For about an hour. What's uh what's the lap times now? We started at like twenty three in these, we've got They're down to twenty one. Yeah, the kidney's a little little different, but I I wouldn't be surprised to see some like eighteen nine, some nineteen ones around the kidney. That's they crazy. were throwing twenty ones in practice. Wow. Yeah. So. All right, this is gonna be wild. Yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be a race. All right, buddy, see you out there. Good luck. What do you think of this? I used to have one of these. Oh you did? <laughs> <laughs> this is the one you ran into me with. Yeah, we ran into you going 80 miles an hour and smoke oh, over roads. <laughs> allegedly. <laughs> allegedly, yeah. yeah. Didn't the mirror come off and then hit you in the chest? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, that was pretty funny. But well, you can see the snow plow. Oh, so. that's true. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what they're, I mean, they must be doing the kidney bean race, but but they're not, there's no cages or nothing. They're just sending it. Seat belts. Old Chevy. Venture. Nice. Oh, they got a USB port back here. DVD player. Oh wow, that's a good head unit. <laughs> Pulled airbags. I think uh, Mr. York is organizing this, so it's gonna get pretty wild. There's a lot of vans, they worked hard at this. Most of them are Chrysler. There's the one Chevy, that might be the upper hand. Chrysler, Chrysler, Dodge, Chrysler, Dodge, Chrysler. There's more Chryslers than anything. So this is a little intermission race. I'm not sure when they're doing it. Let's go over and look at the old Excalibur and the new jump. The legendary Excalibur. This thing's cool. FTI power glide. Got the big block in her. Blown. A lot of these trucks are pretty similar on the setup. It's a nice rig. So what they're gonna do gates closed right now I'd show you guys but maybe we can get on the track side they're gonna come launching off of this right into the grass inside the track and I'm told they're setting up pyrotech pyro pyrotechnicals pyrotechnics fireworks okay and they're gonna jump this and there's one on the other side as well that's a wild ride Bagels, 66 is on this. I didn't know this until I drove the Black Stallion. I always thought these trucks needed new tires when they're like this, but they actually favor tires that are in this condition because you want some slip to be able to slide these. And it's better for all of the equipment, the shafts and knuckles and gears and drive shafts, if the tires spin a little instead of being so grippy. So they actually favor, in most cases, I shouldn't speak for all drivers, but they actually favor tires that look like this. Check it in on the car, she's getting some signatures. <laughs> Quebec, wow. Y'all come from everywhere. Very cool. Folks are starting to funnel in. This is the, it's kind of a new section. It's like the VIP section back there, but some people are spritzing up their cars with some new livery. Looks like an STP kind of colored car there. Something Rowdy's idling up there. I don't know what that is. Oh, I got to show you the prize. So if a guy and a guy win, beautiful C3 and that beautiful C3 back there, they both look to be crisp. I mean, really good shape, to be honest. So we'll see if we can bring home W. If not, hey, we're having a whole lot of fun just being here. 
but it would be nice to have a C3 in the fleet that isn't neon green and actually like runs. That would be neat. So there's a professional fireworks stand thingy. Some fire extinguishers and the cord runs over to a box over there. I just want to picture it as like one of those TNT things you drop the plunger down. But I'm sure it's way more advanced than that. They're going to have a bunch here on the trucks jump and then also some on the other side when uh, we drop the green flag. Zach rigged us up with the mirror. This is a baby mirror. It's flexible. What a good idea. <laughs> Got that taped up. We needed some tools to mount some of the camera stuff in here. Went over and asked the guys at Box. Remember these guys? They borrowed me tools at Indianapolis for Charlotte. These guys, I actually have one of their kits now, but they said borrow this boat roll. And I guess you don't have to use it on a boat, but all this rolls up. That's pretty sweet. It's got sockets and wrenches and circuit tester, extension bars, breaker bars, sockets, hammers, screwdrivers, pliers. That's pretty awesome. Here's what's even cooler. They said, you know what? We're gonna go ahead and give your viewers a discount. So if you go to boxousa.com and you use the code VGG and checkout, you can get 15% off anything on the site, plus free shipping, and it's combinable with their Black Friday stuff, which is a huge savings. We built a DeLorean LS swap. With that tool kit? With the tool kit. This is true. Exactly. One of the Boxo, smaller Boxos, it's the only tools we used on Roadworthy Rescues, and we built a whole DeLorean with it. So they're capable, and they absolutely pack what you need and only what you need in that box so thank you to those guys they've been so cool since the first time we met them zach's here his private jet landed <laughs> i made it yeah but i had to fly it myself oh it's hard to find good pilots yeah the landing that's why you're late the landing took a little bit probably yeah, yeah. i had to try try a few times yeah things were getting sporty so we uh we did everything except talk strategy and then we got called out in the driver's meeting to figure out who's doing what we have a strategy no so I think I'm, I'm qualifying. Yep. That's a terrible idea. And then I'm going first. Probably, probably a terrible idea. Probably also a terrible idea. Basically, you're not driving tonight. But it, it'll be fun. It'll still be fun. Yeah. So that's what's going to happen. We're going to do a, just a fire drill. Try to get him into the car super quick. We're the same height-ish, but my gut's bigger, which actually helps. You, all you got to do is just wrench on it. Cinch it a little bit. Yep. We got a mirror. You guys came out, signed the thing. Looks awesome. We found the, the stickers for our names in the back seat rolled up. So we slapped them on. They're almost spelled correctly. Almost. And uh, we had our flat tire before the race already fixed. The fan found the valve stem leaking. He added these ducts for us for horsepower. And that is the maximum of our strategy at this point. It's as far as it goes. Yep. So we're going to have fun. Hey, Alan, how's it going? Hi, guys. This thing is so cool. He housed his planes with this thing. Hey, well, we're fixing to go here. I'm suited and booted. Gonna go out. Normally, I try to sandbag these, and uh, well, not sandbag. I don't run the car as hard as I can. Try to end up in the middle, three quarter in the back. Let people do bump car stuff up front. But this is Zach's first Lamolets. I don't know if they're gonna invert the field. So this time, I'm actually gonna go out and flat foot this thing. I also want to see what the car has, so I can start relaying information back to Zach, so he can get prepared. See what happens. We'll see where we qualify. See if they invert it. Now this is a kidney beam. That's a different shape than just an old. Those guys did a great job. Um, I've only driven one once, but I can tell you when you're doing freestyle, the, the biggest challenge is tying things together or trying to find your next obstacle out there to do something. And they only had the two jumps and the cars, but man, they did amazing. It was super fun to watch. It's really loud out here in the Freedom Factory with the walls and the, and the stands. Uh, that was fun. That was really, really cool. Anyway, jumping in the car. Uh, we're group four, I believe. Uh, so they put you together with four different cars, I think. 
I'm gonna go ahead and jump in now, get belted in. Uh, the belts got changed in this car, uh, so we'll get those adjusted quick with the helmet on. We'll go out and qualify, see what this thing has left in it. Well, we're waiting to hear on official results. Rip the old 76 x around there. Way loose. <laughs> really loose. But loose is fast. That's all right. Um, it's smoking terrible. I can hardly breathe in the cab from all the burning oil. And there's no power steering at all. So you got to really muscle the thing. And then when it starts coming around on you, it's kind of hard to gather it back up. But. I'm just thankful to be here. We're going to have fun. We're going to see what we can do with the car. My goal is just to keep it as clean as possible here in cap so Zach can go out and have fun with the car. I'd feel terrible if I got this thing wadded up and he didn't have a shot. Without power steering, guys, it's going to be really difficult for me to be competitive. I'm going to be honest. But I'll do my best. If it wasn't the kidney bean, wouldn't it be that big of a deal? But you have to saw the wheel back and forth so quickly in that kidney beam. Yeah, without power steering, it's, I don't know. We'll see what happens. We'll wait and see what the results are. I'll let you know in a minute. All right, we got the 1776 qualified at ninth position. Man, with how stacked this lineup is, we'll take that all day long. We'll just do our best to keep it right around there. Not fade too much so Zach can come out and close this thing up for us. If you don't know this, Zach has raced late model cars for 12 years. And you want to talk about a handful. Uh, there you go, late models. Now he's in a modified. So the guy is no stranger behind the wheel. And uh, I think he's gonna do phenomenal. Uh, when old Clayton said, you gotta, gotta get a partner, he came to mind. So. Also, Keith, my buddy Keith's out here somewhere. The guy that took home the Danger Ranger. I hope I don't know if he's going first or second. It'll be fun to race with him. He's out here. That guy's an absolute weapon as well. Tell us, man. You're a really good racer. You have a lot of experience here. You're starting in the back of the pack because of that inverted field. What's the plan? You know, I'm going to put this thing on cruise control, find a good AM radio station, keep her clean, and then Zach's going to come in and put this on the podium. <laughs> First segment done, I did my 45. We finished first. We got first place, guys. Well, I was really feeling at home. At first, you gotta figure out the line, and then uh, once it got muddy and all the grass up over there at the bus stop, the kidney bean, man, it started feeling like home. All of a sudden, you're on gravel. And I really just got relaxed, started getting in the zone. And man, we, we were pulling some cars, I think. I mean, we were in lap traffic a few times. Car does not have a one-two shift. So I just told Zach, you gotta start in second and that kills us on the restarts. So I think what we're gonna want is no cautions, 
flat out racing. Let Zach get in the groove. This is this is what he does, man. is sliding sideways, wheeling in dirt mud. So uh, I think he's going to do great. And if something happens, oh well, we're just out here having fun. But so far, it's been a blast. Zach's leading him around. We don't have a first gear start, so he's going to have to start in second. Well, the guys from Hunt to Front won again. I think they won, I don't remember where, but I think they uh, won somewhere else. Oh, got the yellow Corvette, the blue Corvette coming up. Zach just pulled off, parked back over here. He did a great job. There was so much grass and dirt on the track. It was getting really bad and greasy when I was out there. I can't even imagine what it was like he was out there. I believe we got six out of 17 teams. Man. I'm very happy with that. That's uh, like we did pretty good uh, for some old country boys. You know what I mean? Try to move Charlotte from the tent back to the pits so we can change the tires and fill it up. And uh, the relay board, well, lit on fire. So that's pretty good. We saw some water damage earlier today. We replaced the relays. They got wet pulling it home from Bristol. And uh, the relays cooked first last time. This time it got the board, not the relay. So we're gonna pull this thing back to the pits, see if we can somehow piece this all together. Yeah, it's not looking good. So here's the problem. That's not supposed to be burned and crispy. Neither is that thing. No one locally is gonna have this board. And shame on me for not having a second one. But there's a chance if I could find 58,000 fittings and a bunch of wire, I could manually wire all this together just to try to cobble it together to make a run still. I'd really hate to let all the fans down that came out to see this thing go. So we're gonna see if we can get the tools and stuff to just tear all this apart and basically try to rewire all this in record time. Basically, we gotta wire in starter, computer, fuel pumps, water pump, fans. I'd also like to have a relay for reverse. And then the pump that runs the power steering, I definitely gotta have that, so. There's quite a bit of work to do yet. I'm gonna try, we'll see what happens. Well, we found this little uh, speed shop, Bradenton Performance, and they had some fittings and a four channel MSD relay. We're still four channel short. We're gonna try to figure something out here. We're gonna run over to Ace Hardware, see if they got some big like 30 amp toggle switches and uh, some tools. Let's see if we can MacGyver this. Super ironic, usually I come with a boatload of tools and pretty much everything we need to work on a vehicle, but we're so confident this time because we spent so much time making sure it was ready at this time. I got nothing but a Leatherman. Strippers, crimpers, more wire connectors, tape, digital meter, all sorts of stuff. 
probably gonna need to try to hack this thing. All right, when we changed these relays, I lost my labels on them. I had to go back in my own video actually and figure out what does what. Starter ignition, computer fans, trans brake, trans fan, power steering, water pump. Now I can go in here and start pulling this apart. Four of them can go on this MSD. The rest of them I'm just gonna have to make by hand, put in some switches or something. And I got very little time to do it. The line ends right here. So it's gonna go very quick when you go two minutes a car. I gotta hustle. They're calling rivals drivers right now. Still not ready. We're gonna be down to the wire on this one. We're close though. I got a few more things. I gotta try to make sure some of this stuff doesn't fall out of this thing. Uh, Chad's gonna start changing tires. And then we're gonna try to get made. We gotta work on it on the track weight and that's what we'll do. I think I got it. I think also at this point, we can mutually agree here at Vice Grip Garage, we don't judge people on workmanship, craftsmanship. We just do what it has to take. That being said, I will admit this is a little sketchy. So none of this is doing nothing anymore. We got an MSD thing down in here with all these pigtails to do a 12 volt trigger. Uh, running off of this block that busted, we had to use an impact because the stainless bound up. This house switch is now controlling Charlotte. We're gonna leave that on because Chad can't come down there um, right when I'm getting ready to go, or at least that's what he says. I think he might just be embarrassed starting a yeah, truck with a house switch. Bold, yeah, mainly. So then we're gonna use that big switch as like on. And then I flip this on off switch momentarily to try to start it. This is my reverse switch. None of that is doing anything. We're gonna try it right now. See what happens. I got no power. Can you flip that switch? Oh, there it goes. It's really light. It was a really long time for it to kick on. Now, One thing I forgot to mention, we've been so busy. This is a 10 bolt out of Independence. Still got the pray for me on it. We needed the highway gear. We were really over revving this in Bristol, trying to get the tires off. Now we got a highway gear, we got a lock spool. We're back to a five on four and three quarter bolt pattern. So we got the trailer tires on. I don't know. This is as ready as we're gonna get. They're out there just ripping right now. I gotta get in line. We just made it. Thanks for the help. Thanks for the help. Chad, always helping. Maybe we'll zip tie some of this, probably not. Sure. Got this pulled up out of the way. This is live voltage, getting close to the panel. Hopefully that doesn't spark too bad. I uh, permanently switched this on just so material doesn't come in and knock the light switch off because that would put us out. Guess we'll go get in line. The track this time is crazy. It's like a T-shape, but you have the option to go in this inside loop and drift around here if you want. You don't have to, but you can. And uh, it's a very, it's kind of a difficult pad because it's not really a box. It's more of just a T-shape. It's going to be very interesting. And we got some folks here from Australia. That's really cool.
He's making his way around the opposite direction. Oh! He spun out. Oh, he's, he's in the grass. Oh, he might be stuck. Oh, he's out. I saw a big cloud there. All right. He's just still got 30 seconds. Gonna try and make something out of it. right before we left 150 psi in every single cylinder on the money except one was 155 and that's a short block we built on a budget in a barn under a single I don't even think it was a light I don't even know what it was, it was a street light or something but we're gonna have to sit down and reevaluate if we're gonna keep doing this we're gonna tear this down and build it again it's uh you know even though you try to do it as a, in, in a budget fashion it's still not cheap to compete in these so we got to keep that in mind so anyway we're gonna hook up the hinch pull it onto the tray more for tonight tuck this thing away and we'll uh come back and address it some other time the rear gear really did help though this is kind of ironic of course there's wires hanging out of the tire. We were 15 seconds from popping them. But that's the way she goes. Oh, Charlotte. She's been so good to us, coming fresh off a big win. Getting winched in. This little Hobo Freight winch has been good to me. It's actually for an ATV, that's why it's so slow, but you know, we're not buying the big ones. We're just going cheap. Well, that's going to do it for the bullets and Cletus of Cars here in Bradenton, Florida. Man, we had a lot of fun. We met so many great people, so many awesome fans. Just such a good time. Thank you to all of you that supported this in person or pay-per-view or however you did it. We appreciate you so much. All of us appreciate it. Let's get back home to Tennessee, dig into some builds. We got to finish this duster. We gotta go save some more old iron. Thank you guys for watching. Appreciate you so much. We'll see you very soon.